guys so welcome to some of the bonus info that we're including you know in this portal so an important thing to understand is there's going to be challenges in you know these changes and challenges to your long-term success I'm just going to go through a few of them so the reason why you came to us is probably because you had some poor habits could be lifestyle could be nutrition look it could be a number of different things but usually these are kind of the more common ones so skipping meals drinking too many calories taking in too much sugar eating convenience foods uh processed calories usually not eating enough fruit and veg not enough protein and not moving enough that could be for Look, loads of different reasons. Got kids, busy in work, um, don't like to cook, don't know how to cook, or you just don't know what foods to be eating. Um, and you just haven't made that first step to go to the gym. But look, you've, you've made that now. If you're here, you've made those steps. Um, and hopefully you have started on your six week um, challenge and that you're starting to think about more kind of lifetime or long-term goals. Just keep in mind as well that it can be difficult to make these changes, but change is good. Okay, so new nutritional habits, um, one at a time, and it's not all or nothing at the start. So sometimes when people come in to us or clients come in and start this six week challenge, they expect to be given, you know, you must eat this amount of grams of whatever for breakfast. You must boil your chicken and 150 grams of broccoli. It must be in a plastic tub or it doesn't count. And um, that is not how it works. Yes, that will get you results if you do it now but it tends to be very unsustainable so you can't keep it up okay you need to understand why we've asked you to change some habits so we usually give information like add more greens into your diet add some more protein we'll explain to you what protein is the different types of it you know what are the different types of carbohydrates and things like that. So we're trying to educate you and teach you to understand why you're making these changes. Then it's easier to make them and you know stick to them. So coaches are gonna educate you. Don't ever be afraid to ask them why. Why, 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 that's what they're there for. So we are trying to create a new normal for you. So all these new habits at the start, you know, they're a bit of a chore. And then as you, you know, get used to them, they become your new normal. So I just stuck in here at the end, try not to listen to, you know, your friends and family. I read this on the internet or what they're telling you to do um, in there is wrong. I mean, pretty much if you search anything, you can find a study or you can find a website that will, you know, back up false beliefs and back up why you should do all different sorts of things. Um, you need to just trust your coach and trust that we've been here. We've helped lots of people get results and you know we talk the talk and walk the walk ourselves. Your support system, okay? So just touching on friends and family there. So hopefully you've got a good support system at home and they tell you that you can do it versus you know you always try these things these things you start and you stop you're never going to stick to it all those things so try and surround yourself where possible with positive people people that are going to you know support you and understand that it's hard and help you and not be asking you to go out the weekend for drinks all the time or putting a pizza in front of you when they know that you're you know you're trying to prepare better food make better choices so this is a big step that all of you are making and you will need support. And um, that can be from the coaches or people at home or maybe who started the challenge with you making new friends in the gym. So when shit gets tough, you need to remember your goals and why you're doing this. So whether you've written them down before you start, which you should have if you're on the six week challenge, um, you know, take out that piece of paper or you can look back over the, the forms that you filled out and just remind yourself, you know, why did you start this? What are you trying to move towards? And then there's a bit of sacrifice. So gym time versus social time. So, you know, I found this myself when I started, you know, to get really, really serious in the gym many moons ago, that I was the person that wasn't 
the normal person. So because I was going to the gym or I was taking a couple of hours out to prepare my food, it was me that was doing something wrong and it wasn't the people that were going to the pub every Friday, Saturday and Sunday. So just be aware that there might be a little bit of pressure there. It doesn't mean that you can't do those things, but we just have to limit them or do less of them. So a little bit more preparation for food, gym time, and a little bit less social time. So if you need any help with any of what we just discussed, or if you need help with a bit of support or motivation, you know, just chat to one of the coaches. Thanks.